Hi there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. One am here in Dhaka, and I am going to be doing two episodes, perhaps three, depending on my energy level. Uh, uh, so today I have uh, like uh, similar kind of fragrances in one video. I'm sorry, a little bit slow. Uh, I have a couple of uh, clones in one video. I thought I would do individual reviews, but I thought like, nah, let's put them together. They are clones from the same house, and they are both freshies. And they are from house of uh, mason alhambra and uh, these fragrances are going to be i don't know how you say alpine uh, uh om spore and this is the one second one is going to be blood a chance i'll put the names and uh, these are obviously you guys know if you're in the game for some time you guys know and the original originals of these fragrances are these okay oops the original chanel alirum spore and blood chanel so i'll compare these uh, with the original and i will do in depth okay even though these are brand new but these are uh, kind of uh, very <clears throat> easy to um, discuss because these are uh, clones and uh, I know these originals for a very, very long time. So I'll let you know if they're worth it. There are a lot of words out there. I've seen some reviews from many reviewers and I've heard some words in different groups and I will discuss all those things. First of all, I hope you're doing good and uh, you're enjoying your fragrance game as well. If you are uh, doing the fasting, if you're observing the fasting, hopefully it's going good and, uh, you know, you are in good health. Okay, so let's start. So recently I've been doing some Alhambra reviews. I think Mason Alhambra, sorry. This is, I think, uh, sister concern of Latafa. I'm, I'm not sure I could be wrong, but someone told me it's a sister concern of Latafa. But maybe originated parent house is that, but this is their sub brand, perhaps. Could be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And these fragrances are sold for somewhere between $15 to $25, depending on, you know, uh, where you buy it from. I've seen in Bangladesh, there is this, uh, <clears throat> sorry, got a little bit of cold. Uh, cold watermelon that's what happens you know you just eat half of it and late night <laughs> you pick up a little bit cold so anyway uh, i've seen uh, one of our pharmaceuticals they are selling it for about under 30 dollars and i've seen one of our local sellers selling it for 15 and he gave some discount and other sellers asking for 20 something dollars so it depends but i can tell you one thing pretty much different countries will have different prices if you pick this up in uh, let's say europe or somewhere it can cost you about 40 do not know if these things get hyped in from our country like from 15 dollars it can jump to 25 bucks it happens okay so price range for the time being 15 to 25 dollars give or take if you can get for the best price get it for the best price and they have different lines i have done uh, one from like tom ford inspired line that is tobacco touch which was amazing i liked it but it was 80 ml bottle these bottles i think are 100 ml and that is a good news so i'll start with the more fresher one then go a little bit of darker one this is going to be Alpine Om Sport, Om Sport, <laughs> Alhambra, Mason Alhambra. And these things, I'll tell you something funny. I think one of our brothers from UK, Daniel, he said something funny. He said they don't even bother <laughs> putting the same exact uh, presentation, the name. If you look at them, you know, you know right away. They do have uh, <clears throat> clones of Eros, many other fragrances. If I get, I will review. So this is how that looks. You can take a look. It's kind of like a glossy marble sort of front. Okay back looks like that they have holographic sticker mason alhambra so basically it's it's a brand it's a brand from middle east uh, it's funny to say because uh, it's a uh, inspired fragrance and if actually if i let's see let's just show you something if i put it like this you will not find any difference like you'll think this is the box for this but this is the chanel this is the mason alhambra so i'm coming to the chanel the bottle here it's not bad it's very heavy it's actually heavier than 150 ml of chanel Alium sport this is the original bottle and this is the clone they do have a little bit difference of the size. You can see it's more like this shape rather than the <coughs> square shape. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, this is a little bit longer. And it looks like Versace Purum bottles are that shape. But something like this, like a heavy tank sort of heavy bottle, heavy glass base. But the cap, it's not like Chanel 1. This is more like YSL YDP kind of cap. And they do have YSL Y clone as well. Base, you find your sticker. So the whole thing is painted in uh, silver. Looks nice. I actually like this bottle design a lot. It looks very nice. Uh, sprayer on these for the cap. Sorry, cap doesn't have a click. And yeah, you can say grip there, but mm, I, I'm not sure. Sprayer. I'm wearing it here. Dry down for a while. <clears throat> Let's show you the spray. Good spray. Very good atomizer. Okay. So how does this smell? How is this close to? How close is this to original Chanel Alirum Sport? Because many of you know, alternative to Chanel's Alirum Sport is Versace Purum. And then the alternative to this is something like a few of the other fragrances we have, but mostly people talk about Missoni's Wave, right? 
and I did have this one as well. My bottle is finished. So I'll compare this with all three fragrances. First of all, uh, I like the opening. Uh, there were a time many people looking for Chanel's uh, Alirom Sports All Extreme clone, but I haven't found any good clone of All Extreme so far. This one for Alirom Sport, the opening is spot on. Okay, if you spray this on someone from an atomizer or a you know their eyes are closed and they smell this, they will say Chanel, right? And that close, so good. I mean, unbelievable. I don't know if you keep it to macerate, you know, for maceration or keep it for a while in the collection. Um, if it's gonna get stronger uh, overall performance i'll talk about it but it's not a beast but for the price that i paid you know i paid around 15 dollars or so uh, with shipping and all that for the price that you pay even i'll go as far as saying if this was 25 to 30 dollars what you get in this is absolutely uh how to say not quality uh, it's absolute value because if you're looking for let's say um Alternative to something that Chanel offers. Chanel offerings are going to be $150 plus now. Every single Chanel, Bloody Chanel perform goes for $200. Crazy. So for this, uh, for almost one-tenth of the price, what you get, you can get 10 bottles of this. You can spray all day, even if it didn't last. Longevity from this, from the wearing that I got, uh, it's not a beast mode fragrance, okay? <laughs> Those who are waiting for my, uh, like, uh, you know, you can say approval. You can get it. You can also pass on it okay depending on what you're looking for if you're looking for a good budget fragrance that smells good if you're looking for a fragrance that actually is, is similar to original and it copies the you know the dna very very well it smells really nice fresh clean nothing alcoholy nothing uh, synthetic then you can go for it but if you're looking for eight hours ten hours plus you have to go for the chanel i'm afraid to say the original one it's definitely um it's a beast if you put this on this is the there's difference between these two this is a bit more creamy the dry down it's so much nicer the orange blossom the neroli the powdery effect it stays much longer you can enjoy it but on the dry down this one will lose some of its uh oomph. and uh, what do i mean by it for the price that you pay from that angle this is a win this is one tenth of this <laughs> this is not actually this is 150 mil but this is a good clone of alirum sport simple words but the dry down it goes flat a little bit flat it has this creamy sort of like a tonka bean ish vibe it has that kind of like the versace purum what it offers it smells like versace purum and mini uh missoni's wave on the dry down but both versace and mini uh missoni's wave are superior fragrance to this if of course because they are much more expensive too so yeah you get what you pay for but for the price solely when you talk about this one i am pretty impressed with it the bottle looks nice for the students for the people who are looking to get super budget fragrances this is super budget friendly perfume okay so i have no issue with it i can take this bottle keep one in my car one let's see if i had an office i'll keep it there you can basically respray the whole day and you can just bring it back overall longevity i'll say this range okay i will not say particular this hour because it's hot and humid maybe in your country you'll get more or less i got about uh, overall longevity three to four hours okay some of you will be disappointed well oh, some people say seven hours maybe but maybe it's so high and hot and humid in our country it's flying away or on my skin uh, I, and shirt combined three and a half hours more or less and that is practical if let's say you are wearing this in a country where there's no humidity there's no pollution this may last up to five six seven hours i don't know on the clothes maybe longer but to my nose when i do this after three to four hours i can still detect it but it's faint okay so dry down it's Kind of like uh, you know it was a good charm because the first one hour it was like a big marvel movie it's a great entry but then it slowly starts losing a little bit of its power but you shouldn't be disappointed because of the price tag if it stays 15 to 20 25 bucks pretty good deal uh, maybe say 20 dollars is a good price do not pay more than 20 but you get 100 ml you can afford to spray all day bring it back so every two hours you respray it brings back okay so overall for the quality of the scent overall longevity if you take an average 8.5 out of 10. So this is alpine uh i don't know if i'm saying that wrong is it supposed to be apine i don't know alpine um sport very nice and alhambra pretty good especially how close this is maybe thanks to reverse engineering okay that's the first one so there's the comparison and all so in the middle i'll tell you a story yesterday i was usually i read i go through some groups i am part of some groups uh in worldwide like i used to be in a lot of groups but i cannot give time so i quit so many groups so basically in this indian frac com um I noticed once in a while there's this great debate people are aware customers are aware they raise issue so there's this brother who raised the issue is like 
hey, what happening? Suddenly, some Alhambra fragrance are being hyped by all the reviewers, like a general statement. And then, you know, are they getting paid to say good stuff? And then, you know, the, all the negative comments are being removed by fragrance. I don't know. Okay. But I'm one of the reviewers. I'm not saying that he said about me, but I'm also reviewing some Alhambra. I'm doing some Latafa perfumes. So Middle Eastern fragrances are affordable. You have to understand one thing. Nowadays, we are not buying that many expensive designers because they are going, they are going way out of our price bracket. You know, like Versace used to cost 40, cost 40, 50 bucks. Now it's like easily 70, 80 dollars per 100 ml. You know, we don't want to do this. We'd rather buy, to make content, we'd rather buy Latafaz, some affordable Middle Eastern perfume switch. Uh, gives us good content right so that's one reason but to say generalize you know some of the people they are suspecting they just have this you know hunch or i don't know what is the word hunch they just feel that some reviewers are uh, being paid to promote this i don't think so because when i smell the quality you have to buy this try this and uh, do not perhaps uh, recommend people not to trust reviewers because not everybody is saying okay not everybody sold their soul to devil right so when I am doing a review, I am fully aware of what I'm doing because I'm buying the fragrances with my money. Even if I receive it for free, I always declare it and I review uh, fragrances as per their quality, not uh, someone told me to uh, hype it. Okay, If I want to hype it, I hype it from my own. So be mindful, be clear in your head that you are seeing reviewers uh, review as an opinion. Okay, Your job is to go and try the fragrance. If you like it, you will like it. If you don't like it, uh, without trying, don't pass on it. Right? Sounds fair enough, right? So second one I'm going to do is Bloody Chance. Okay, this is also funny a little bit because uh, this sounds so much close to Bloody Chanel by Chanel. This fragrance right here, I absolutely blind bought all these, right? This is the box. Okay, nothing much, nothing art artsy here, but I like the, I don't know what you call that, the deer or the moose or uh, whatever, the reindeer. So it, it looks like that. It looks pretty neat. And then it says Bloody Chance, you know, it's like engraving and you can touch these and Feel these um, okay so this is 100 ml as well this is uh, in EDP concentration and the previous one was also EDP so the bottle here is actually pretty nice okay this is the blooded chance and again I have 150 ml of blooded channel my blood channel is running low almost finishing I am not sure if I'm gonna buy another one because there are already alternatives to this okay so this is 150 ml but the bottle shape is kind of like a square this is more like a taller bottle just like the previous one but it looks pretty nice if you compare with the blooded channel uh, with minus a lot of differences okay it doesn't come with the magnetic cap you shouldn't be sad about that okay you didn't pay so much for it okay and looks neat heavy glass this is actually heavier than bloody channel bottle because the base is heavy highly likely when you drop this i dropped this once in malaysia 150 meters gift and it slide out from my lap when i was sitting on my car I was coming out in the parking it just fell heads on and it is broken okay so the glass quality is good but the middle eastern ones are tanks <laughs> so again the cap <clears throat> it's okay plastic cap good quality and it does basically it's, it tells you a story if you know blood shell you know this uh, atomizer on these small small burst okay i've seen a couple of reviews yesterday okay i'm wearing this dry down here so basically same price and the second chanel clone so because they're both chanel i'm doing in the same video let you settle down okay this one it's very uh like i don't know what word i want to say it pops okay first of all moment you spray this on you're hit with the grapefruit okay you're hit, hit with the grapefruit a little bit of lemon zesty citrus is a little bit more zingy yeah that's the word zingy then blood chanel blood chanel opens up grapefruit ginger i think and there is a nutmeg and incense frankincense or something like it it's a little bit darker a little bit spicy masculine woody so compared to this opening is not bad but blood chanel's opening is so much more natural I have a plan to do top 10 grapefruit based perfume this is going to make it okay so pretty close uh, clone of blood Chanel, and this is the cheapest by far so there was arm of shades blue as far as my memory serves that was a good one and there is a uh, luxodor shogun very good quality but the best one i said so far is that one arm of iconic right arm of uh, club did me iconic right yes iconic the blue one so that dry down it's really close to blood Chanel even better okay so there are quite a few blood Chanel clone nowadays you can see but where does this one stand okay for the price that you pay when i smell this for the first time like first time up it feels like cologne version of blood Chanel. blood Chanel itself is not a very strong fragrance unless you get <clears throat> the edp or uh, my most favorite is 
perform okay if you get these these are a little bit more higher concentrated a little bit stronger but again never a beast okay i never found blood to be a beast so this feels like a sporty more um, citrusy version of blood chanel and it doesn't feel very heavy like the chanel one when i spray this this one feels a bit more strong again less creamy but this is a bit more stronger compared to this this is more like a uh, cologne version of blood chanel and opening has touch synthetic vibe okay when you spray this you smell it right away then your nose will be hit with a little bit of burning sensation perhaps so spray give it some time then smell it again so this one longevity is two hours and a half okay so this is a bit sad uh, to say it doesn't have very impressive performance okay um if you're looking to buy a good clone of blood channel this is it is on the dry down it smells a lot like blood channels dry down and the opening is quite nice and if you've seen like some bad quality clones like say miniso or somewhere they have very watered down a very low quality like half an hour it's gone this is not it this is much better quality when i say two hours two solid hours okay so you can smell it it's there but two and a half hours it's already like very faint okay on my skin in summers so in your country perspective again i have to see say these things in your country perhaps you'll get four to five hours to six hours it depends on your skin uh, your skin chemistry weather and then the you know season right so overall the scent profile is very good for the scent i'll give it eight out of ten very good due popularization but the performance category is very versatile you can wear it everywhere you can take it to the gym versatility wise this is just as versatile as the other one okay both of these are very versatile fragrances okay so for the price this is a win uh, you should get three four five backup bottles if you like what you smell and you can just even gift you know i show you where's the box did i show the box yeah i did if you give this as a package let's say your office employees you know if you're a boss and they don't need to know how much you spend you can go marks and spencer you spend 25 35 bucks zara this is the same quality that zara gives okay so zara's fragrance is 35 40 dollars this is 15 to 25 dollars so you do the maths if you can get it as a bulk it will be even cheaper so you can give this, this give this a gift to your son someone's first fragrance in your uh, house if you let's say have security guards or you know drivers you know who work for you and you want to give something nice this is a good gift item for Eid, which is upcoming. You give it to someone, they're going to be very happy. Office colleague, your friend, and they will be so thankful. 100 ml they can use for a very long time. Only thing is you have to keep respring after two hours, two hours, you know. But it's okay again for the value. You're not getting anything less. So basically, really nice. And as <laughs> Daniel said, I definitely agree. The bottles, it feels, it's, it's kind of like a low side when you see the originals versus the dupes. They can change the bottle shape a little bit, like give it some other name or something. But, you know, uh, original versus the clones, they're too close and they maybe feel, you feel like it's unfair. Right. Apart from that, I have no other complaint. So for me, I gave this 8.5. I'll give Blood a chance. 8 out of 10. Solid. Okay. So you can check it out. Both are not beast mode. Okay. If you're thinking. But it's a good fragrance alternative. In, as far as the smell goes, very, very polished. Mason Alhambra, well done. And I have one more um, content. And then I will upload this. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.